This video is brought to you by Squarespace. On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we have the baby Lamborghini and a car some people like more than the Lambo, the Audi RS Q8. It's got all the letters and all the numbers, so you know it's the good one. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jay Argo, and today, like I said, we are here with the 2021 Audi RS Q8. And this thing is absolutely insane. It is the Lamborghini Urus, but without the bull on the front of it. And it kind of, does it look better? I mean, just take a look at the front of this thing and tell me what you guys think in the comments right now. Does it look better? It kind of takes away some of the sculpting on the hood and that kind of bulbous front end. I think it looks really, really good. And this one, of course, has the full exposed carbon fiber package. Even the grill is carbon fiber. I think that's the first time I've ever seen something like this brand new from Audi. Everything's carbon. So that thing looks absolutely amazing. Let's get this thing out. We're gonna go around the entire car, check it out, go through the entire interior. It's insane. More loaded than the e-tron and many of the other Audis we've looked at in the past. This thing is just really, really, really good. Let's go. Oh my gosh, listen to the sounds it makes. This thing's sick. Unlock. Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> or on top. That, that was so sick. sick. That was awesome. Look, I had to jump right in this thing and take it for a little bit of a drive so I could get an idea of what we were working with here. And what we are working with is insanity. I have never been in a better SUV than this. And I've driven the Bentayga. I haven't driven a Cullinan or a Urus. And obviously this is the Urus, like we keep saying. But uh, I would assume that like, it's hard to have anything on the planet that is better than this thing. It is the chef's kiss, the perfection, the peak of the SUVs. And you can tell because they spent all the money on it. Your money actually goes to real things in this car. Speaking of the money, uh, one of these things right now costs you about $150,000. I think this one stickered for $143,000 in 2021. And if you want that in the Lamborghini Urus, which is of course the same thing, you have to spend double. It's about 300,000 for a used Urus right now. If you can buy a brand new one, you can probably get that like a base model, like 280, 290, something like that. But you're gonna spend right at about 300,000 to get this exact SUV with a bull on the front of it. Now it looks a lot cooler. You get the Huracan interior. On this one, of course, you get the Audi interior that you're used to in much cheaper cars, like say the e-tron. And you might be able to buy an e-tron for $60,000 used. So I think it's an incredible value for your money. Yes, it's an Audi interior. Yes, I love the Audi interior. I'll leave the, do you need a Lamborghini or do you need an RSQ8 to you? But we're gonna go around and show you every bit of the RSQ8 and why this thing is absolutely mental. The greatest SUV I've ever driven. So let's jump in here. Right here, we're gonna start with this. 23 inch wheels. No, these are not 22s. These come ready for your next wrap video. And it looks incredible. Uh, though I don't know how this thing handles so well with 23 is that much unsprung weight and it also runs a pretty big sidewall So it's not messing around. It still handles on these uh, Continental sport contact sixes and behind the wheel look at this. I don't know how big this is How big is that? That's 13 inches or 14 inches. That's a good pizza. I, that is a <laughs> that is a medium pizza at minimum from Pizza Hut right there insane carbon ceramic brakes. Some of the biggest carbon ceramic rotors I've ever seen. Now, look at the caliper. The caliper is bigger than the brake. We're talking like 15 inches end to end on this caliper. That is apparently a one, two, three, four, eight piston? Is that an eight piston caliper? That is absolutely wild. We did talk about these for a couple of seconds. They've got, it looks like they have brake ducts that feed them nice cool air in there. Uh, if you ever break one of these rotors, it will cost you more than most small SUVs, I would assume. As you guys know, carbon ceramic rotors can easily run into the $10,000 range. And a lot of times you have to buy them in sets. So it could be a very, very expensive endeavor if you lose one of these rotors. And this caliper must cost the same. I'm sure it's a Brembo, typically they are. Uh, but hey, you're getting the same tech that you'd get in a Porsche or your Lamborghini Urus. Really, really good carbon ceramic brakes. And they drive 
like normal hydraulic brakes. You can't feel the difference. We'll get back to the RSQ8 in just a moment, but first I need to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. You can use Squarespace to connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. Manage your members, send emails, and leverage audience insights all in one easy to use platform. You can also use Squarespace to create a community. They have powerful blogging tools and Squarespace extensions will even let you manage inventory, promote products, and streamline your bookkeeping. Go to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash watchjrgo for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain today. Again, huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And now, back to the, the baby Lamborghini. So we talked about that. Here we have this cool little punched out wheel arch. It looks really good. Parking sensors all the way around. We did mention this thing has the full exterior carbon fiber package that looks insane. I, like, I've never seen this on another one. And I don't think you get this on any of the Lamborghinis. Most people buy this stuff as a kit from Vorstener or something like that. So that looks just, it's perfection. The perfect amount of carbon on the front of this thing, LED headlights, amazing startup and shutdown animations. We'll show you guys at those at the end of the video. Um, everything's LED as you would expect. It has the rain fog anti-dazzle system that changes the way the headlights are displayed. Instead of having to put fog lights on the front of it, you can just run like a really cool segmented headlight and move the headlight around. So of course, Audi did that. You guys have seen that on the channel before in things like the S8. Uh, it's a really cool headlight tech and the visibility is always perfect at night. So you can see farther down the road than anybody else. And it's, it's just so good. It's safe. That's the thing, it's like safety. Uh, here we've got our laser or radar sensors here for the adaptive cruise and you know vehicle sensing uh, You know all the magic that happens with the driver assistance systems here They're integrated into the front bumper really well We have black Audi rings because everything's blacked out because this thing of course has black optic or it could be part of the exterior carbon pack That's most of the front end here We've got a little cover right here for the tow hook install if uh, if you have to install that tow hook I'm sure it's about to be a bad day for your wallet, but it's there if you need it. We do have uh, washer sprayers that pop out for the headlights as well. Uh, and that's the front end of this thing. So coming on around, we have the exposed carbon fiber mirrors. And these things are massive. That's a hand. This is a cell phone for reference. Look at the mirrors, gigantic. And the visibility back here, also amazing and gigantic. It's got cameras in every mirror, front rear cameras, because of course it has full 360 for when you're parking uh, or Pretty, well, pretty much everything, you know, we've got turn signals in the mirrors as well. And of course, blind spot monitor to, to make sure you don't run into anybody changing lanes. You can touch the outside of the handle to lock and unlock it. Of course, it is a uh, proximity key as you'd expect. I mean, it, it gets hard to even talk about features in these things because you kind of expect everything to be there. And then you really only start to notice the things that are like a step above, but everything in this car is a step above. Speaking of which, it's an SUV with soft closed doors. So <laughs> those are the doors, all frameless windows all the way around. Take a look at that. Uh, I, for, I better mention it has acoustic glass. This is not just some random glass. It has the acoustically insulated glass there to make sure it's absolutely quiet when you're sitting inside this monster of an SUV. It's a great startup and shutdown animation, as you'd expect, giant dual exhaust in the back. Don't worry, it's got a trailer hitch. It's got everything you could ever want. I bet if we go like this, it might open the door and it might not. I don't know how you do it. Sometimes you have to like put your foot in certain spots, but I'm sure we could probably just do that. Camera right there. It looks like it has a sprayer on the camera as well. And if you noticed, I don't know if you did, but the luggage cover power retracts as this opens. So you just, if you put your purse back here or something and you're worried about it getting stolen, don't worry, the car will cover it up for you. Let's look underneath here. Let's dig into this thing. So obviously you can't put a 23 inch spare in here. There is no place on earth you're putting a 23 inch spare. So we got an air compressor. We have our uh, run flat solution there, you know, the goo so you can uh, fill up the holes hopefully and make it home. Gigantic subwoofer. That subwoofer absolutely gets after it. And it looks like the entire thing, this, is the subwoofer enclosure. That is a monster. Go Audi. This, this has the Bang & Olufsen advanced system as well. We'll get into more of that in a minute, but 23 
individually amplified speaker channels. They weren't messing around. The DSP controls at all. Check out the lighting back here in the trunk. Instead of just doing something random like a lamp looking down, they put light bars in the trunk, you know? And they're diffused. They put diffused light bars in the trunk for you. So uh, we also have lights here to make sure that you can kind of see what's going on as you walk up to the car. Power close as you would expect. We'll hit the button here. Oh, I can't forget this button car drops three inches when you hit that button to make it easier to load your groceries in the back. All right, so it's all the way down. And it should be going back up. There it is, look at that. And it lifts back up when you push the up button. 12 volt outlet in the back, clips to attach your cargo net or tie things down to. Uh, they're all chrome and they retract flush with this floor. Like, like I'm saying, these are things that you just expect and you almost forget to mention that they exist. So we'll hit this button and of course it will close the back for us. What's this? We better look. We better look. I think that's for the emergency triangle, but it's not there. Sure looks like it's for the emergency triangle. It doesn't do the cover till afterwards. Oh, there we go. There goes the cover. Sure can't see it on, oh, there you can see it on the camera. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Spoiler, third brake light in the spoiler. Wiper on the back glass to make sure that if you go off-roading with this, I guess, and stuff gets flung all over it, you can just wipe it off. You don't need to get out of the car. And like I said, it looks like the camera has a washer on it as well. So that is the back of the RSQ8. I think we've talked about everything other than the size. And honestly, the size is super, reasonable shorter than a tahoe easier to get in this thing gives you everything you want you don't get the third row i guess but you know it's the perfect size for most families i've got one more really important thing to show you guys before we head inside because it's going to take a little while to get through the inside of this thing but under the hood here if i can open it that is is a very very big piece of plastic now that piece of plastic covers a four liter twin turbocharged V8 that makes 591 horsepower and 590 foot pounds of torque through the eight speed automatic. And of course, connected to Audi's all wheel drive system here. So it's absolutely insane. All of that power in this pretty small SUV, like I'm saying, added up to the fastest SUV around the Nürburgring, seven minutes, 42 seconds. And before you're like, yeah, it's not that fast. Other cars have gone faster. It's faster than the RAV10. That is really, really fast. Anyway, huge plastic engine cover. Like I said, I think it's pretty funny. The engine cover is so big and expansive that to fill the oil, they put a hose under here. You take this cap off and uh, you fill the oil through this hose into the valve cover there. It, it looks like it would be, it would take some doing if you had to work on this thing, but it could be done. Uh, it looks like uh, a lot of the front supports come out and it, it, it's pretty serviceable. And look, the ECU's right there. In case anything goes wrong, you have to bench flash the thing. Pretty sweet. I guess that's why everyone's Eurus's have tunes on them. And if you have one of these, you probably have a tune on that as well. It does come with factory pop pops and growls, burbles on shifts. It does everything you want. It just sounds so cool. They've nailed it. Front to back, nailed it. Uh, everything else up here, pretty normal. We got an ABS pump over here, coolant over here. We have the vacuum bubbles in under the hood here, like triple bubble deal, just like the Audi R8. I think it's the exact same one that was in my R8 and a jump terminal. So you don't have to go digging around in the back. Really nice. Everything's laid out. They've really thought of all the things that we need these days and they kind of nailed it. So, uh, you can fill the washer fluid up there. It looks like, and that's kind of everything under the hood without taking the engine cover off. I don't want to take that engine cover off because it looks like you have to take off all the stuff to fill the oil. Is this an engine mount? Look at that. There's a top engine mount right here connected to the valve cover. That's pretty wild. Oh no, it goes past the valve cover? It's kind of interesting. Absolutely zero vibration from this thing because there isn't any, let me tell you. All right, let's head inside. This is where the good stuff starts. Before we get in this thing, I have to talk about the seats. These are really close to the R8 seats, honestly, and they're very narrow. I think the bolsters are probably electronically adjustable. I haven't tried that, but it's absolutely flawless for me, so uh, I didn't try messing with that at all. 
beautiful stitching the you know the audi stitching that's in basically everything there we got a piece of hair right there and the rs logos are of course embossed in them alcantara everything adjustable seat belt height over your shoulder as you would expect let's close the door and start taking a look at all the magic in this car so obviously ambient lighting you can see the ambient lighting everywhere there are many different modes of the ambient lighting it helps if it let's turn it back on there okay uh electronic lock and unlock nothing happens when you push those it just enables the door handles we've talked about that in the e-tron before it's very cool auto lights it's upset about something if a light turns red it's mad oh there it goes it's not mad anymore so ambient lighting's back to blue we're all good <laughs> red you're dead uh, we have great window controls. The mirror controls here are recessed. You can turn it all the way if you want to fold them up. There go the mirrors. The mirrors are also defrost. They should flip right back down. Uh, we've got child safety locks. We can set right here on the driver door. And the back windows are shaded. And one click drops the shade. Two clicks drops the window. I'll roll that back up so we don't mess up the dealership's papers there. But that's it. Uh, everything is controlled right here at the driver's fingertips which is very very nice so coming around on the dash we got to talk about the bang and olfson tweeters again we might have to start this thing there's the bang and olfson tweeters again motorizing back up out of the dash headlights leveling back out doing their whole startup animation listen to this thing it's angry i love that it's angry oh the warning in the ambient was the seatbelts aren't on yet. That's why it turned red. So cool. Coming around here, our headlight controls are uh, full auto right now. And there's the front rain mode or all weather lights mode right there. All weather lights are off. Uh, you can still adjust your vents as you would in any old car. It's not all electronic in this. Uh, you can slide back and forth, up and down, and open and close the vents right there. Lighted dials, of course, as Audi's been doing for years. Again, the Bang & Olufsen tweeters the motorized out of the dad. I can never stop talking about those. Here's our cruise control stock. Everything you'd expect right there, including distance for the active cruise control, adaptive cruise control there. Uh, all the normal stuff over here on the turn signal stock. Paddle shifters behind the wheel uh, in piano black with nice accents on top. And they're also lighted. You can see the little plus is illuminated there. Steering wheel controls. Again, everything you would expect on an Audi, but we of course have the RS logo in the wheel and RS mode on the wheel. And when you hit it, so we've got our normal MMI display here with the map. Look at that. RPM goes up, the exhaust valves open and the tack reverses. It comes down from the top of the gauges. Oh, it just never stops rumbling there. And you get your power torque meters, a boost gauge for the turbos. And of course, it's very nice having all the tire pressures over there along with the pressure and temperature. So you know when this thing's ready to rock and roll. If you hit RS mode again, this is RS1. We're gonna go to RS2 and it shuts off traction control. So you can get crazy with this thing. Uh, obviously, as with most new cars, I don't recommend ever shutting off traction. So little gauge there for the speedometer. It's really cool. It's a bar graph. Same thing with the tack over there. We're back to MMI right now. You've got your speed limit pulled from the GPS. You've got your heads up display right here. Very hard to see in the camera, uh, but it says 40 and zero right now, just right in front of my steering wheel. Full color on the heads up display, of course. So you can see your maps up there, uh, directions, music, everything like that. You can put it all in the heads up display. So that's pretty much the gauges. Obviously we could spend like probably 10 minutes just on the gauges here. We change all the views. This could really go on for a long time. So you guys have seen this before in my uh, MMI overviews for the e-tron, stuff like that. Uh, every Audi that has MMI, it's great. It's just super nice virtual cockpit. So we'll move on to the center stack where of course we have screens on screens. It does not have the third screen, which I'm a big fan of having. Uh, they'll duplicate this screen or this screen over here. So the passenger can control the media, um, climate, whatever they want. And you can also like double up some screens or put telematics over there. Like say they wanna see the speedometer or something like that. They can usually have their own display over there in that, uh, well, fourth screen. I'd call it the third screen, but technically it's the fourth. The screen has tactile feedback when you push the buttons. So you are always positive. Uh, whether you pushed a button or not. You don't have to just wonder if you were touching a touchscreen and nothing happened. You know in the Audis, they're very, very good. 
Uh, we've got, of course, a map display here if we want, uh, my phone, we've got CarPlay and our track listing here. But this one has some interesting new menus that you haven't seen before. So we have Audi Drive Select and we are in auto. Switch that to dynamic. You can hear the exhaust and the RPM. Everything changes right there. You can set the air suspension right there. It's already lowering the car to its lowest possible height. You can edit your RS modes to change what this button on the steering wheel does right here. And we have the RS monitor. And this tells us everything, the transmission, engine, you know, temps, everything. It's all right here. So right now, you know, the engine is warm and our tires are cold. And you can see diff temps, brake rotor temps, everything is on this screen. Like that's insane. When have you seen brake rotor temps in a production vehicle before? I think this might be one of the first ones. All right, so let's go over one page. There's our G meter. Another page, there's our tire pressures and temps again, even though they're in the gauges. Inclinometer and uh, latitude, longitude, all kinds of cool stuff for off-roading. I figured it would show the steering wheel degrees. Oh, it does, it does. There you go, 50 degrees, cool. All right, so that is the RS monitor, a new screen that's very cool. Seat controls, let's see, we should have massaging seats. We might not, I thought it did. Oh, there we go. Relaxation, I, I should have had this set before. Cool. So we definitely have massage seats in the front. Always awesome. And AC, more controls to kind of double up what we have down here. Heated wheels right there, sink. You can have dual mono climate, all that fun stuff. It's all right where you'd expect. And now right here in the interior lighting, we have oh, individual, impulse, maritime, Caribbean. To this thing to it looks like maritime oh and you can also do drive select if you want the ambient lighting to match what drive mode you're in so i'm sure in rs it turns red it sure looks like it does okay back to the blues the blues were actually really nice uh, and you can also change the stuff individually when it's in custom so you can have one light here set it one color like right now it's white another color here for accents and another color there uh, and there's also two layers of colors here in the center console. Where's gaming PC? You know what? I actually think surfaces and lines. There's our two levels here. So we go to lines and then colors. I think in the e-tron you could have it cycle, but it, I don't see cycle in there anymore. Well, no RGB gaming mode. Green looks cool. That is kind of cool. Wow, that is, what a car, man. Okay. Back to the blues, the massage is good too. Um, we have our yeah, screen well, off button for people that don't like screens. Coming on down here, we got our drive select. You can switch through those with those up and down buttons right there. Traction off, hazards, defrost, also the engine start stop button. Uh, this is our 360 camera. As you can see, it loads right up. And can we, if we go 3D, we can spin the car. Oh <laughs> man, I never get tired of that. That is so good. Audi is the best at this. Like no one else has come close to that. Infinity did it but it wasn't that good. Anyway, uh, we also have, what's this, our ADAS right there, I think, yes, driver assistance. It's set to max right now. You can kind of set it to whatever you want, build your own profile, how much power steering effect you want, you know, what's turned on, is the lane assist turned on? You can set all that right there in that button. Audio, you still have a normal volume control, and of course you can just hit it to turn it all off or flip it back and forth to change tracks. We've made it about two foot into this car. That's absolutely crazy. Although most of it's controlled right here, it's very good. There are more features than you can even imagine. Let's keep going. We've got a T-handle shifter. Hit the side button, put it in gear, and hit the park button to shift back into park. It looks, it just shut itself off. Oh, it has auto start stop turned on right now. <laughs> that thing rips back to life. Hill descent control right there. What else do we have in here? Ah, home address, smaller climate. There's home link. Uh, at least I think it's home link. And what's this one? Heads up display settings. Cool, cool, okay. All right, we've touched just about everything there. Cup holders, obviously very good. They could be a little bit bigger. My Yeti doesn't fit, but they work great. You've got a 12 volt accessory right there, parking brake right here, and this console rocks. So you've got two USB-Cs right here, wireless charging. You can see Jake's phone starts charging immediately-ish. I think my case does a thing. And of course it shows on the screen your wireless device is charging. 
Hey, there you go. Charging your mobile device. Hey. You're good. Okay, so that closes. Look at this, the entire interior is dry carbon. It's so beautiful in here. And of course, the console can slide back and down and forward and up, so you can decide what you want to do with your armrest there. What do we have here? You don't have to hit a button to open the glove box. Look at that. They went that old is, school with that, this thing. That is big. That is a gigantic glove box. You are not kidding, man. It's got a pencil holder. Pencil holder, too. I think we've covered uh, most of the front end. Does your Yeti not fit in here? Oh, I bet it does. I bet the Yeti fits in the doors. That is huge. That is huge. Frameless mirror, great interior lighting, of course. And of course, the sun visors are wrapped in Alcantara. Tough to see them. And they're lighted as well with a light bar. Audi just doesn't mess around. You've got a ticket holder for parking passes, turnpike passes, whatever you've got right there. These, of course, soft clothes. The gigantic sunroof has a roller shade. Again, 23 channels individually amplified in this thing, all controlled by the DSP for the Bang & Olufsen system. The massage is great. The system is incredible. What What are your thoughts on it's best factory system you've ever heard, right? I haven't heard much of it. <laughs> it's really good. I would say like the Burmisters are my, you know, my scale and this one might be better than the Burmisters. It's incredible. The output is incredible. It never breaks up at insane volumes, at volumes that you can't talk over. And that's that's my bar. The uh, JBL in the new Sequoia was that good too. If you turn it up and you're trying to have a conversation like this, you can't hear each other. You have to scream and that, that's a lot of output. It's honestly a great test. Try it in your car. If you can still talk over the system, turns out it's not loud. Don't worry, the door sills are lighted. I wouldn't have it any other way. They look incredible. The concrete, the concrete's also lighted. There's projectors in the bottom of the doors that throw the Audi Sport logo down here. We've got the all weather RSQ8 floor mats right there. Even the pedals, every inch of this thing was attention to detail. They didn't mess around. The, the dead pedal, all aluminum. It all looks incredible. What do we have here? Oh, more storage. I figured that was a fuse box. Nope, storage. They have hooked it up. Oh, the center button on the seat, just like the F-250 does control the massage. Cool. They didn't, they didn't let us down. This thing's flawless. All right, back seat. Ashtray, oh yeah, yeah, ashtray, okay. And plenty of room, actually. Jake wasn't kidding. You can put a Yeti in the door. That's a very nice touch. Does it fit in the front? Check. I like it when my water bottle's close. All right. So the back seats are just as amazing. They fold down, it looks like, with one flip of the switch right there. Plenty of cargo room in this thing. Probably a cup holders right here. Look at that. Armrest latch is closed. Everyone else just lets friction and the leather do the work. They were not messing around in this thing. What's this do? Oh, you can flip just the middle as a ski pass through. So 60-40 split or just the middle. Latch in the back as you'd expect for your car seats. A touch screen to control all the rear climate. This is quad zone climate control. True four zones here. And you can have auto for each seat and heated seats in the back as well. Just no cool seats. Two more USB-Cs way down low. You can see them glowing down there and another 12 volt outlet map pockets on the back of the seats and giant Bang & Olufsen grills. They don't want you to forget Bang & Olufsen everything. Uh, this thing has height speakers right there. So you got your height speakers for the back. It's kind of hard to see this stuff, but there's height speakers for the front passengers as well, right above their seats. Before we get this thing out on the road, I have to mention the turn signals. They're sick. Just like you would expect, Audi's been doing really good turn signals for the last, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight years now. That is cool. Federal regulations mean they have to turn on one turn signal instantly and then they can animate another one. So that's why there's two. You get the cool scanning one and of course one that's instant on. Driving the RSQ8. First of all, from a roll. <laughs> we did that in that Lexus yesterday. And it was like, how do we put that in words? This was twice as fast in one fourth the time. <laughs> like, like it's, you need a math equation. Anyway, we've got some corners here. We're gonna drive through the corners. This does have Audi's Epic technology that's shared with things like the Bentley and of course the Urus. And from what I can tell, the active sway bars push the car the opposite direction into the corner 
while you're turning in. So while we're turning in this way, usually the body would roll that way, but instead the car is completely flat. And for the car to be completely flat, it has to be going over flat to really trick you into thinking the car is completely flat or, or put the car in an attitude that is completely flat basically. So once you drive one of these cars that actively sets the car to being flat all the time, it will absolutely blow your mind. All right, here's a pretty sharp corner. We'll turn in. <laughs> the horizon never changed. It's absolutely insane turning in in one of these new super SUVs. It's tough to describe until you drive it, but I think I did the best job that we can possibly do here. So of course it will have uh, active sway bars, front and rear, fully electronic suspension, ride height, variable, everything like that. And a lot of it can be controlled by changing the drive mode between say like dynamic or comfort. Right now we are in RS, which is uh, the most aggressive of the driving modes. It does idle up. You can hear the engine running. It sounds awesome and we'll drive around after this stoplight changes here uh, we'll just shift through some gears and with a little bit of rpm in it you can hear all of the magical growls and pops and bangs that this thing does of course it does the cough on the shift which is one of those things that makes you just your heart smile inside you're like there is nothing better than this in the heads-up display and down here in the gauges it's got the tack their bar graphs and it also has a uh, a shift light that Listen to that. <laughs> Legitimately fast. I haven't even launched it. That was kind of, that wasn't wide open throttle. It was like a 10 roll and then just kind of floor it. Um, let's, we need to try actually launching it one time, but you floor it, it's absolutely magic. Like it's hard to describe how fun this is. And that shift light goes from like green, almost time to shift to yellow. You better shift in a second and then red and it fires off the shift if you don't do it. I don't think this has a launch mode or anything. There's no buttons to like enable a launch. It might be hard to hold the camera now. All right, so. Wow! What on earth? Did you? Jeez. What a car! It fired off that, that second gear shift. It was like, pow, have it. <laughs> the first shift was like kind of a nice little automatic one. The second one was like, absolutely insane that's about all you need to know about this thing is it almost sets you back in your seat as hard as evs do that is a crazy trick for a traditional ice engine and you get all the noises all the noises all the noises everyone wants i was about i was gonna go on and say it's not really a traditional ice engine it's like the absolute pinnacle of technology with two massive turbos shoved on it <laughs> and the greatest drivetrain behind it all of that to say this thing is extremely fast i don't know what the zero to 60 has been tested at but based on what we just saw it was like before it hit second gear or during the second gear shift so instantaneous we're talking like maybe three or four seconds somewhere in that ballpark based on seat of the pants uh i could be off on that number but it is legitimately fast and it's, and you know, you can't really pull your head off the seat. So that's another great measure of how hard this thing hits. So that's how it handles, that's how fast it is. And as far as everything else, I'd say it's all intuitive. There's a lot of features, a lot of stuff buried in menus, but everything you need is always at your fingertips, very easy to use. And I think really the only other option you could add to this is, is probably that third screen. I don't even know if it's an option, it is in the e-tron, so it makes sense that it would be in this. Oh, and the massage, we should probably comment on the massage. It's good. It's not like uh, most of the massages that are air bladders. This one has little individual actuators doing things like kneading your back. I've had it turned on this whole time. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, ask Jake. The X5M was the old bar, but I think this thing kind of resets the entire bar. Well, and the, you know, the Cayenne GT, that's the other. The Cayenne GT is probably better than this but I've only ever seen one of those in my life. It should be the whole same drivetrain front to back for the most part, uh, kind of the same everything, but it costs even more. Uh, the Cayenne GT is closer to uh, Eurus price. So you can buy the Audi. It's a great value proposition. Everything works great. Really amazing audio system. I'm a fan of this. I don't know which one I'd buy. I've, I've said for a long time, if you could only have one car, to drive in your life. If it's a car, 911 Turbo S. There's no question. It does everything perfectly. But if it's an SUV, this. And this could also replace your truck. 
because you could tow stuff. So for basically every task, this would get it done. Audi RS Q8, there's not much more to say. I am blown away by how good this thing is. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchjrgo.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. You know, I think I just realized the seats tighten up and dynamic because I am like perfectly bolstered. And of course the seat belts pre-tension, when you put them on, they pull you back to set you back in the seat. Um, it's all just magical. It does everything perfectly. So pretty cool. Dynamic mode in Audis, it doesn't mess around. I can't believe the seats move. If we put it back in comfort, let's see. Oh, listen to it, shut up. Go, comfort. Oh, off-road picks this thing all the way up in the air too. We yeah. didn't even get video. Vehicle raising. <laughs> Warning limited <laughs> stability. <laughs> oh, so good. We forgot to mention that because I've talked about all that in the e-tron. <laughs> Crazy. All right, okay. this thing's five foot in the air now. It feels like we're way farther off the ground. Here's the RSQ8 in off-road mode. We got to show you guys. It is way up in the air. There's a ton of ground clearance, almost a foot. That's super impressive. Maybe that's why it's Maybe, doing the greeting. Yeah, let's get close to it and see. I bet you'll have to like walk away again. Did you, did it, was, did you, were you just far away from me? From I was, point? I was close the whole time. This is, this is the greatest. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. There's the... <laughs> yeah, sweet. It did that, that, was, that was sweet. What an animation! Oh my god. That is sick. All right, we need to see the tail lights. I'm sure they go in a I'm circle. sure they do something yeah. cool too, yeah. Look, we got the whole gang here now because this is the <laughs> craziest, best SUV we have ever seen in the history of things. Okay, that's nice. It just immediately vanishes. Unlock. Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> on top. That, that was so sick. sick. That was awesome. This car is wild. Let's uh, let's pull these rotors off, take them to like the parts store and see if they can resurface them. <laughs> can you turn these? Hey, uh... <laughs> the second it touches it. it... <laughs> <laughs>